Welcome to RS Military, where we break down the real machines, real intelligence, and real power shaping modern warfare. $335 million. That's how much Lockheed Martin has quietly lost on a classified program since 2022. The U.S. Air Force won't confirm it exists. Lockheed won't deny it. And that hypersonic aircraft you saw in Top Gun Maverick? It wasn't just Hollywood imagination. Right now, somewhere in the Nevada or California desert, the fastest aircraft ever conceived may already be flying. Mach 6, twice the speed of the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. Today, you'll discover why what people dismissed as movie fantasy is actually Cold War reality on steroids because the SR-72 isn't coming. It might already be here. In July 2024, Lockheed Martin submitted routine paperwork to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Buried deep inside the report was one line, $45 million over budget on an unnamed classified aeronautics program. That alone was unusual but this was the third straight year of cost overruns. Total losses now exceed $335 million. No program name, no explanation. Just money disappearing into America's most secret aviation projects. And every serious defense analyst knows exactly what that money is buying. The son of the Blackbird is growing up. To understand why, we have to go back to 2013. After decades of silence, Lockheed Martin did something unprecedented. They publicly acknowledged a successor to the SR-71 Blackbird. Not through the Pentagon, not through Congress. Aviation Week magazine. The reaction was explosive. The magazine's servers crashed within hours. Why would the world's most secretive aircraft developer announce a spy plane that officially didn't exist? Because Lockheed wasn't asking for permission, they were already building it. This is how Skunk Works has always operated. They don't wait for contracts. They don't wait for approval. They build what they believe America will need, sometimes decades in advance. They did it with the U-2. They did it with the SR-71. They did it with stealth aircraft before anyone asked for them. And now, they're doing it again. But this time, the technology crosses into something entirely new. The SR-71 cruised at Mach 3.2, over 2,000 miles per hour. For decades, nothing could catch it. Missiles failed. Fighters failed. It didn't evade threats. It outran them. Now imagine something moving twice that speed. The SR-72 is designed to cruise at Mach 6. New York to London in under an hour. Los Angeles to Tokyo in about 90 minutes. This isn't just speed. This is global power, redefined. Speed isn't the hardest part anymore. The engine is. Traditional jet engines fail above Mach 2. Airflow becomes uncontrollable. The engine chokes. Scramjets solve this, but they don't work at takeoff. They require the aircraft to already be flying at hypersonic speed. So how do you go hypersonic without already being hypersonic? Lockheed's solution is revolutionary. A turbine-based combined cycle engine. At low speeds, it functions like a normal jet engine. As speed increases, it transitions. At hypersonic velocity, it becomes a scramjet. One engine, two modes, zero to Mach 6 and back again. No operational aircraft in history has ever done this. In 2018, a senior Lockheed executive publicly stated that a hypersonic test aircraft was already flying. Then everything stopped. Mentions vanished. Executives went silent. The program disappeared. Why? Because Russia revealed its own hypersonic weapons. From that moment, the SR-72 stopped being a marketing concept. 
it became a wartime capability. China and Russia have hypersonic missiles, but missiles are single-use weapons. The SR-72 is reusable. It takes off from a runway, flies at Mach 6, completes its mission, and lands again. Satellites follow predictable orbits. The SR-72 does not. By the time defense is detected, it's already gone. This aircraft isn't limited to reconnaissance. It's designed to carry hypersonic weapons. That means strike missions measured in minutes. Entry, launch, exit, before anyone can respond. Lockheed once predicted a demonstrator years ago. Timelines slipped. Then, in 2024, cost overruns suddenly spiked. Defense analysts now agree on one thing. A prototype may already be flying or will be very soon. The Dark Star aircraft from Top Gun Maverick looked real for a reason. Lockheed advised on the design, but Dark Star was fictional. The SR-72 is not. Mach 6 isn't science fiction. It's achievable, and that's what makes it dangerous. For decades, American dominance rested on three pillars, aircraft carriers, stealth technology, global reach. The SR-72 adds a fourth, hypersonic speed. You can't deny access to something you can't intercept. The SR-71 was once impossible. So was stealth. So was flight at 70,000 feet. American aerospace history is built on turning impossible into inevitable. The SR-72 is the next chapter. The money trail says it's real. The silence says it's close. The skies are about to get much faster. And somewhere right now, Mach 6 is becoming just another day at the office.